What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here bringing you another deck profile. Um, today is Thanksgiving. Um, shout outs to an awesome day. I got to spend it with my family and uh, now that they're all out of here uh, I figured I'd get a little recording done before uh, some other activities. Um, I got my screen recorder back today so uh, I'll be recording some uh, Let's Play videos tonight and uh, you should hopefully be seeing those over the course of the week. I'm hoping to have one to you guys on Sunday, like I said in the last video. So, uh, look forward to that. And tomorrow, I'm meeting with CVH and Spencer and maybe a few others. And we're going to get some decks, uh, all these decks that you've been seeing in the profiles, as well as a few others. We're going to be uh, getting them all together and uh, creating a few video duels for you guys to... Uh, hit against each other. Uh, shoot me a couple messages. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see against each other. I know we're going to have control versus control, um, aggro versus rush, aggro versus control, and, and a few other matchups. But uh, let me know what you want to see. We're going to try to get a mix of just about everything. So uh, yeah guys, um, my profile today is going to be Luki Alex aggro. Um, me and Christian were talking about this deck uh, a little while in the past, and uh, I figured I'd throw it together, try my hand at it, and just see how it came out. And it came out pretty well, so uh, here it is for you guys. Um, the major part of this deck that makes it so deadly is, of course, Luki Alex, which is where the name of the deck comes from, and paired with him is Techno Totem. Both of them are Nature Light Dual Sieves. Luki Alex says uh, it's 3 mana, 2500 attack, plus it gets a 3000 attack power attacker when it's attacking. And at the end of each of your turns, you may untap it. So, really hard to get rid of when it's on the field. You need a kill spell or spot removal or something to get rid of this card. Otherwise, he's going to stick around and just be very, very hard to get rid of. <clears throat> and pairing Luki Alex with a Techno Totem. I mean, Luki Lex is pretty much a 3 for 5,500 5, attacker. Because it untaps itself, you can't attack it once it loses its power. And using Techno Totem's tap ability, which lets you tap another one of your opponent's creatures, and uh, you tap Techno Totem and tap one of your opponent's creatures, and then while Techno Totem's tapped, each of your other creatures in the battle zone get plus 1,500 power attacker. So that makes Luki Lex attack with a 7,000 attack power, able to destroy just about anything in the meta, and anything potent all the way up to Bomidius, um, outside of a few finishers like Tanzanite and Bloom, um, Luki Alex is pretty much going to be able to kill anything on the board when paired with Techno Totem, and these two combined are just a very, very, very difficult to get rid of. Um, you need a kill spell, you need kill spells pretty much, tear pits, something that can immediately just get rid of these guys. Otherwise, they're going to stick around and cause a whole bunch of trouble for the board. So, using this basic strategy of getting Luki Elix and Techno Totem out, um, that's that's basically what this deck is going to try to do. And the rest is just support to uh, help out Luki Elix and uh, help keep Techno Totem alive and, and recruiting both of them as well. So, we'll go over Nature first. It's just Dulcive. Um, I'm just using Nature and Light for this deck. I uh, didn't feel the need to add Water because the deck has so much Search and it has Magris anyways. So, three Bronze Arm Tribe. Um, help mana excel. Uh, you want to get to about five, six mana with this deck so you can start playing your bigger spells like Holy All. Um, the deck runs Cryptic Totem as a finisher and, uh, be able to use your search spells in conjunction with uh, getting out Luki Alex as well. So, Bronze Arm Tribe just helps all that along and a just really useful staple card in nature. <clears throat> Rumbling Terror Horn, two of them. Um, he's basically a dimension gate in creature form. When he summons, search your deck for a creature, put it into your hand. Uh, plain and simple, just recruit your guys like Techno Totem, like. Uh, uh, Techno Totem, Luki Alex, Cryptic Totem, um, just all the major guys that you would need. Or maybe smaller guys too, like Magris, if you need the Hand Excel or a Blocker or Larba Gear. So, Rumbley Terrorhorn does the job there. Two Cryptic Totems is our finisher. The deck runs Nature and Light, so why not run Cryptic Totem Holy All? The strategy's tried and true and, and does its job almost every time, so. I mean, there's nothing that can beat a Cryptic Totem and four attackers when you play Holy All, so 
why not utilize it in a deck such as aggro, which can utilize it. So, Two Soul Swap. I don't see the reason for more. Um, I was thinking about three, but uh, two seems to get the job done. You're really not Soul Swapping too much in and out. Um, running four Techno Totems, four Luki Alex, um, they tend to get out on their own, and especially with all the creature search, Soul Swap just kind of helps that along. And without the speed attackers, like in a, the fire aggro with a twin cannon, soul swap kind of plays less of a role. It's going to get out your major creatures, but it's not going to really be as substantial as it would be in a fire nature or a fire nature water aggro or something like that. So I say two. Um, it just helps along, gets anything that you would throw down early that you might need later, like cryptic. So two soul swaps. Two Dimension Gate in conjunction with Rumbling Terror Horn. Since the deck doesn't run water, I need a way to keep hand. And uh, Dimension Gate is great from the shields. Um, lets you search your deck for pretty much anything instead of like an energy stream where you would just draw two random cards. Dimension Gate's more centralized and lets you get one creature from your deck, something that you will need or something that you know you will need. So Dimension Gate does a job there for helping keep a hand and uh, working with the overall synergy of the deck. Finally, our last two nature cards are going to be Mana Nexus and Natural Snare. Um, because I'm running Holy All, Mana Nexus is just a, a, a given. You're going to want to Mana Nexus down Holy Alls to protect yourself from other attacks, as well as uh, get down Natural Snares, which are my uh, immediate spot removal for the deck. Since, uh, I mean, I have a lot of creature control on the board, but say Technototem and Luki Alex are being overwhelmed. Natural Snare just kind of helps out, and uh, it's great from the shields early if I'm being rushed or uh, if I'm facing an aggro deck. Natural Snare just kind of helps out there. So, both these cards are uh, very excellent shield triggers from the Nature Civilization and uh, deserve the spot here, I think. If you have other suggestions, let me know about them. Uh, I'd love to uh, see what you have to say and uh, consider any other ideas, but this is the idea that, or this is the strategy that I'm using right now in order for uh, to use spot removal. Next we're going to go over our light, go over our guardians here, we're playing a lot of guardians, Luki Alex is a guardian too, so uh, in conjunction with these three guys, uh, Luki Alex adds on to them, so we've first got Soul Gala, he's our two mana drop, he's our, the only two mana creature that we're playing in the deck, so uh, hopefully you'll be able to uh, draw onto one of these guys and uh, play him first turn. Otherwise, the deck usually starts up right around third turn, but uh, using triggers and having Mana Nexus usually helps out with that, so hopefully it all works out. Otherwise, I mean, I'm considering Quixotic, but uh, I really don't know what I want to use as far as a two-mana or two mana nature creature, so Soul Gala fits our bill there, and he's a guardian. He gets a plus 3,000 power when a spell is cast, so activate a spell, he goes up to 4,000, makes him really, really uh, potent, kind of like Quixotic, except for spells. Next we have Joe Warco, we're using two of those. When uh, he's destroyed, you can tap up to two of your opponent's creatures in the battle zone. He can be like a pseudo holy all in the field if you want to run him into something, or uh, if he blocks something, then you can tap another two of your opponent's creatures. He kind of sets the opponent back and uh, keeps them from uh, being able to destroy or come at you with everything they've got. Joe Warco kind of stunts that and gets in the way of the opponent really, really well. And again, another Guardian, making him very useful for uh, my evolution that I'm running. And next we have Palo Olesis, which uh, again just adds a whole nother level of power to the deck. Uh, he says during your opponent's turn, all of your creatures get plus 2,000 power. So that makes Luki Alex a 4,500 attacker. That makes Totem, or uh, that makes uh, Techno Totem uh, go up to 7,000, making him really hard to get rid of with a. Uh, fire cards that uh, have a certain restriction on what they can kill with their power levels and uh, makes it just all the harder for the opponent to get rid of them with their creatures so Palo Alesis adds a lot in that aspect and as you can see all three are blockers so this deck's very very good at uh, anti-rush uh, and uh, hopefully stunting the aggro deck enough until I can get Totem Dragon Luki Alex rolling to uh, keep the field clean Next, the reason we're running so many Guardians is for two Larbagir. Larbagir creates another win condition. When uh, he's evolved onto a Guardian, you can tap all of your opponent's uh, creatures that have Blocker. Uh, Larbagir uh, 
basically, I, I mean, if you're swinging for game, he, he acts basically as another uh, holy all, especially if you've got Cryptic Totem. Activate or summon Larbor Gear, tap all of your opponent's blockers. Now they can't do anything to stop your onslaught. And if you've got a Cryptic and again four other creatures, you're going to be swinging for game. The opponent can't activate shield triggers. And Larbor Gear just creates that situation for you. And with so many uh, Guardians that already have blocker, you're going to be able to hold a field back until you can get your Larbor Gear with uh, one of the many uh, creature searches, uh, whether that be Rumbling Terror Horn or Dimension Gate. And uh, search your deck for Larbor Gear, play it, and uh, swing for game. So. Larbor Gear, another great win condition, and on top of that, three mana, five thousand power. He's going to be doing damage on the board if you get him out. So, our last light creature in the deck is going to be Magris, Vizier of Magnetism. He's basically a, a bigger Aqua Hulkus. Four mana, three thousand power. Initiate uh, when he summon draw a card. Plain and simple. Running four of them. He just helps with the mana or helps with the uh, draw excel. And uh, very useful to the overall synergy for the deck. Some of Magris, he replays himself in the hand and acts as a body. And with 3,000 power, he's going to be able to get rid of a lot of the weenie stuff that the opponent uh, can summon. So, Magris, very good. One of my favorite light creatures, and I really just enjoy using him where I can. And he fits the bill really well here, as far as synergy goes. Next, our light spells are going to be two Lightning Charger. Um... Lightning Charger again helps with mana excel. I know I'm running Bronze Arm Tribe, but Lightning Charger uh, does a really good job here too. Uh, basically, play it, tap one of your opponent's creatures, and uh, then this card goes to your mana zone. It's great for uh, immediate spot removal, and again, working with Luke Elex and Technototem to tap your opponent's creatures. That way, you can uh, even, instead of having to use Technototem's tap ability, say they've got two creatures on the board, activate Lightning Charger, it goes to your mana, and then. Uh, have Technototem swing at that creature, and now Lugia Lex gets the power up because Technototem's still tapped and basically destroy two of the creatures. So Lightning Charger just helps with the overall synergy for it. And again, the mana excel is appreciated. I mean, like I said, you want to get to about five, six, seven mana so you can start playing Rumbling Terror Horns and Dimension Gates. Search your deck for that creature and then immediately summon it on that same turn. So Lightning Charger helps out a lot there. <clears throat> Next, one Rain of Arrows. Super crazy tech card. Um, I like using it where I can. Um, Darkness has is very very lethal to decks like this where uh, they don't have play water and don't uh, generate as much of a hand advantage or can't come back from having zero hand as well. Uh, Rain of Arrows, if you can play it early, hit your opponent's cranium clamps, lost souls, terror pits, all of the big darkness spells that would uh, that the opponent would play and basically removes them from their hands. So, Rain of Arrows, if played early or correctly enough, can uh, basically make your opponent discard two, three cards and just playing the one card. I only run one just because it's only useful in certain situations. I mean, you do have to be playing a deck that runs dark. Otherwise, this card's completely useless. But uh, this deck does have a little bit of trouble playing Control because, again, Control can... Uh, mess with the hand a lot more than uh, other decks can and Reign of Arrows kind of puts a stop to that if you can get it off early. Um, just again, it's a tech card now, just trying it out, seeing how it works and if it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, I might put it up to two just to uh, continue trying it, but uh, just a fun card here, just a nice tech choice and I'm interested to see how well it works out, so hopefully we'll see that in future video duels, but uh, keep an eye out for it and let me know what you think about it too as well. So. And the final card of the deck is two Holy Alls. I'm not running anymore because, again, I've got Lightning Charger, Techno Totem, and uh, many other cards that tap Larva Gear. And two Holy Alls kind of fits there. And if one ends up in mana early, I do have Mana Nexus to reuse it. So, Holy All, excellent card there. Uh, I really don't have any way to get spells back from the Mana Zone other than Nexus. So, uh, if they do end up there, they end up there. But uh, if, if I know I'm going to be going for game and these guys don't end up in my hand early, I'll usually hold on to a Holy All just because it's, I mean, it's going to be useful at some point, especially if I get a chance to go for game. So, uh, two's good now. If I feel that I need to run more, I will. Um, or if you guys see something you might want to drop. If the Rain of Arrows doesn't work out, I'll probably put in a third Holy All. But uh, two seems to be doing well now, and uh, I'm just interested to see how well this deck tests in the next few days. So, uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing this deck very soon, and, uh, 
I want to thank you for watching. Leave a like, uh, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully, guys, I will see you tomorrow when we start getting the video duels up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, take care, guys. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, ate a lot of food. I know I did. So uh, now I'm going to go uh, record some Let's Play videos. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Take care, guys. Peace.